Good afternoon, everyone. Create Together Club, stamp number two. Super exciting. Doesn't it come round quick? Oh, I'm like, it doesn't seem like two minutes ago since we used the Be Mine stamp. You all remember? You all followed the shows and created beautiful cards. Well, this is stamp number two. And this is a beauty of our Create Together Club. You buy it once and then you forget about the rest. Um, you're given that little nudge when to open that envelope and then you're given seven days worth of content. I'm not saying I'll be able to do seven days on the run as I have TV at the end of the week, but we always give you seven shows showing you seven different ways to use that one stamp, which is super cool because normally we wouldn't use our stamps more than two or three times unless it's one that you absolutely love. So if you are already in the club and you have your stamps, in a second, you can open envelope number two with me. Although you have had a sneak peek because of that lovely banner on there, we will open it together. If you've already cheated, well, but all the same, you can still come along and craft. And then for envelope number three, later down the line, I will give you the nudge when we can open that one and have fun with that one. It's not too late to join the club, though, ladies and gentlemen. If you do want to join the club, it is linked to the show as well. And I'll go through that in a short while. But if you do join today, you will be sent stamp one, which all the inspiration is from um, the latter end of the year. And you can watch all of those shows and catch up. You'll be sent stamp two, which is the one that we're opening today. And then you can do all of the inspiration with us. We'll also send stamp three as well, which will be in a sealed envelope, which you don't open until I tell you to. So it's super, super cool. It's three A5 stamps, OK? And it's always a surprise. And that's another thing I love about Create Together. There are probably stamps in there that you wouldn't normally buy because you wouldn't know what to do with them. And I get so many messages from people saying, I would have never have bought that stamp. I would have never have done that technique. And I have had so much fun. So it's just a great community of crafters where we can all craft together, experience different things, and hopefully along the way, pick up some hints, tips, and techniques. Now I'm gonna show you stamp one, because I appreciate since we did stamp one, we will have new viewers, okay? And I'll show you a few samples, then we'll move on to stamp two, and I'll show you a few samples, then we'll get straight into a uh, little demo. Now, as you can see, there's lots of ways you can shop with Stamps By Me. It's always linked below the show anyway, so you can shop there. You can shop live, should you wish. You can catch us on the website, and you can also scan that fabulous QR code and shop on there as well. If you are watching the shows on Catch Up as well, you can always scan that QR code. It will still always take you to our fabulous products, always available from any shows that we go live in the show with. My name is Tony Darrick, and if you're not a subscriber, please click that subscribe button. We are a lovely family company here in the UK who thrive on inspiration, techniques, family, ethos around craft and we all just in it for the love of craft. We've got a cracking 2023 for you all. I'm so excited about it. Now, let's do a little bit of a shout out for all of our lovely crafty family who are live with us today. I know the weather isn't great. Do you have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee? Are you ready to see what's ahead for you all? I have a coffee, which I made, which has gone pretty cold. And then I've just been brought in a herb tea. So I'm going to have both. Not sure what it'll taste like, but we'll have both. So let's just show you here. This was stamp number one. Now, all of the content for this one is on our channel, OK? All you need to put in is Create Together. It's on a link, and you'll see all of the videos that we did using this fabulous, fabulous stamp. It was a stunner. Lots and lots of you made lots of cards with this one. Absolutely amazing. And I will just show you a handful of samples very quickly, and then you'll be able to get the idea. If you're thinking about joining now, then you can absolutely do that. This is a great thing about our Create Together Club. You can join at any point. You can wait till you've seen all three stamps. You do not have to wait and get the surprise. I like the surprise element of it because it's going to push my boundaries. And I know lots of you do love that too. But I know that a lot of you, um, it might be a considered purchase and you want to see all three before you go ahead and shop. So I'm just flicking through. These are some of the samples we did in our live shows. Look at these, absolutely beautiful. Look at that, look at the dimension on that. Absolutely beautiful. We had so much fun. So this was the first stamp. So if you buy today, you will be sent this first set as well. So you can play catch up. Onto papers, watercolored, and then just as independence. So that was stamp number one. And this one, so you'll get this one in the post. So let's take a look at stamp number two, which you're all a bit giddy for. Let's just drink this bit of coffee. 
And they, Val Crew says, this club is amazing, isn't it good? And we started it a little while back now. This is the Create Together Club. Create Together Club Chapter 2. And we probably will do a Chapter 3 as well. You'll have to let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, anything we should change, do to improve, you'll have to let us know. This time round, we um, went ahead and sent you all three because we were trying to save on the postage footprint and prevent any from getting lost. But I think a few of you cheated, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do it again. Very naughty. We'll see how it goes. So, number two, well, let's have a quick look. Number three you're not having a look at because it's a surprise. If you've cheated, hopefully you'll have forgotten what's in the envelope. So when you get it sent, if you buy it today or any time moving forward in the next seven days of inspiration, you'll see this one. You'll see number two because I'm about to show you it and three will be sealed, okay? So don't cheat if you, if you can. I know some of you do not like surprises. So let's move three out of the way so I don't have an accident. And it's much cheaper, it is. Are you ready? Look at this one. Now, we've never done anything like this before. And again, this is the beauty of Create Together. It's like a little surprise. What are we going to do with it, though? So you get the two. And the, normally when you see the cute critters, they're quite small, aren't they? Well, as you can see, these are quite big. So we've got the three lovely rabbits trying to post some mail. Be beautiful for a Christmas card, Easter cards, but just a family card, a birthday card. We've got a cluster of little bunnies here. Both hugging dad, both hugging mum with love and happy mail. Just a cute, cute little set. If you like to colour, you're going to love this one. But I'm not the best colourist, so we're going to see what techniques we can get out of this. Now, I am live today and I am live tomorrow, but I'm on TV on Friday. So today and tomorrow, create together club and then we'll have to play catch up. I will tell you now, though, that I am live tonight at seven o'clock with some products that are going live on TV at the weekend. On Friday so if Thursday so if you want to grab a cup of tea or if you like a bit of a glass of wine or something like that tonight at seven o'clock I'm live in studio three so please share and tell all your friends because it's the world launch of our second chapter of ink pads which you're all waiting for and the first ones are back as well so this one now let's show you some samples now I'll try over the course of the seven days to show you a bunch of samples because they're all over as you can see so let's have a look at the look. Oh my goodness me. Absolutely adorable. Just create those simple apertures in there. Love, love to colour these, Amanda says. But if you're not a colourist, look at this one where you can add the highlights. These are all of the other items that are available on the website as well. So we've got some Imala, we have our Stamps by Me stencils. Look at the sparkle on the bunnies' bottoms there. <laughs> so cute. Teaming them up with other dyes in your stash. Look at this one. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe touch of to colour. Oh, love you. To, that says to me, love you to the moon and back. If you've got a stamp that says that, that would be adorable for this one, wouldn't it? I need all the ink pads, Helen says. Oh, live tonight. Yay. Look at this one. This is the washi tape. And that paper's just been smooched into some pink ink. This has to be one of my favourites. Totally different, guys. Look at this one. Oh, I love the lamination. And I like that the rabbits haven't been masked off. I just like the artistic feel of these. And then the happy mail part of it, oops, a daisy. The happy mail part of it there has been 3D'd. You never guess who that is. That's Carly right now. Carly, get me in trouble. Look at this one. So although they're cute and although they can be worked for a lot of different sort of occasions, Mixed media as well. Brilliant, this one. So cute, I know. And then we've got some within our soulful collection with the flowers across the base, just gently watercolored there. But these ones teaming up with our embossing folders. So if you like any of the samples, make sure you screen grab or press pause or go back. The videos never go away. And these are made up with the funky fossil dies and the stencils and then that lovely heart splash we did. And then onto some patterned papers. Look at that one. That would make a great Christmas card, I think. If you have a little Santa die cut hat, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Adorable. Aren't they just live tonight? I know, are you all giddy keepers? So let's do a quick shout out. Hi, Michaela, Helen, Jan, Julie, Amanda, Marilyn. Lots of you, lots of you on as always. I do appreciate you coming all the time. So shall we get cracked straight on? Cup of coffee, cup of coffee. So much to show you. 
So the whole club is to try and inspire you to utilise the stamps in some... F Obviously, I'm not the wealth of all inspiration, knowledge, techniques and ideas. And sometimes it's nice to revisit some of our earlier ideas as well. But we always try and thread something in there that maybe you wouldn't have tried traditionally. So although we have stamps, we can incorporate stencils, papers, a little bit of mixed media. I do always encourage the brush. So there'll be some painting at some form, whether it's just in a window or an aperture or the cute bunnies. So we'll play it by ear. Hey, see how you get on. What we say to you all, though, is if you want to post your makes on our Eureka fan page, please do so, because we love to see your makes. But what we do is we always stack all of our finished cards by the end of the seven days across the back here, and you'll see them build day on day. And then at the end of the week, if you have been making cards with or later in the evening and they're stacking up, we like to see all of them laid out, all the ones that you've made, and show us what you've been doing. Because I know a lot of people like to change colour, change the black ink for a grey ink and make it their own because we are all unique as individuals as well. So it's really interesting to see what your take is on them as well. Another thing I have to tell you about as well is our lovely Paul from our design team. A lot of you have been asking about some demonstrations in relation to 3D embossing folders and how Paul gets all of the lovely detail and texture and artistic feel. Bless him, he's done some videos. So hopefully he will be posting those at the weekend for you to be able to um, get some inspiration with those also. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel. That would be appreciated. Right, let's crack straight on. Now I have all mine with me because I feel like, do you know what? This is the first one we can always revisit and utilise it in with our bunnies. So let's bring in our bunnies. So I'm thinking easel card today. Let's... <laughs> What are you all talking about? What's about the plumber? What's going on? Did you all enjoy the Quattro D show? Wasn't it good? It went so well. Don't tell anybody, but it was the best. So cool. Right. So I have a easel card. So for those of you that don't know what an easel card is, because I should never take for granted, everybody knows, this is just an 8x8 card blank, and I've scored the front down the centre. And this is going to give us this sort of effect. Can we see here? There we go. Can we see that there? Can you see the score line? So it's just an 8x8 card and scored, OK? like so and then I've just cut another piece of white card which is the same size as the base and this is going to stick to here and this will give us that lovely easel so it'll go flat in an envelope and it'll stand tall and proud when we want it to okay something a little bit different I think I don't know if we did an easel in the last show I'm not sure but equally so I can put this to one side for now oh I don't know did I open that bunny's no I don't need to open it mine's here So, which one are we going to use, ladies and gents? First one out the box. They're both beautiful. <sighs> I think we'll go with the family. I like the family. The family. Right, so I have a piece of white cardstock here. So, I'm going to have a white matten layer on my card. And then I have a piece of patterned paper. Now, get that out. Don't tell. For it. It's Emma's. You need to tune into Emma's Facebook Live on Thursday night, Wednesday night. Tell her about it. She's got something awesome to show you all, guys. She's never done it before. So, Emma's Live, 7 o'clock, Wednesday night. Is she watching? Is she on? <laughs> well, I just couldn't resist. I'm not going to tell anybody, Emma. I'm just telling them to tune in. Anyway. And I have this gorgeous piece of paper here. Look at this. Oh, my gosh, which way? So I'm just going to trim this down so it fits within this aperture on this piece of white here. Tony, Tim and Tom family. Bunnies. Tim can be the fat one. Me and Tom will be the small ones. <laughs> do 
chubby daddy. Although he's actually not chubby, but daddy can be chubby for that picture. <laughs> so there we go, look. Nice piece of patterned paper in the centre. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of wash on the back here. Nothing spectacular, but a little bit of a light wash. So this is going to be like my topper on here. So let's set that aside. Now this is just a card blank cut down off one sheet okay so it's not like watercolor card or anything but i do want a little bit of color on here so i'm just going to pop some ink on my mat just random and i'm just going to spray it with water i say spray with water i've only got my sparkly ink which is fine i didn't shake it so hopefully that. And then I'm just going to maybe swoosh it around with my finger so there's no harsh lines. And then I'm just going to put, you can't really see that, but you will show when I put the card in and then we'll pop our card in. And we'll push that down. But be very light. I'm rubbish at using papers, but I do love them. I love paper. Emma's live 7pm tomorrow. Can't wait! something new for you she's totally changed it up she's like i'm changing it up for 2023 i'm like okay what are you doing so you need to tune in oh look at that that's quite cool isn't it shall we get a second color on there as well so let's get um a bit of blue maybe let's give this a spray with some water I'll just do my finger on this one as well. Tony, you are wicked. Poor Tim. He's all right with it. He's fine, Brenda. Hey, do you know what I've done this morning? I feel quite proud of myself. I put the hot pot on. I remembered, you know, the hot, like you have a hot pot. Look at that. That is cool, isn't it? Let's add some splats. I've put the hot pot on. I've done a sausage casserole. I'm a bit scared of leaving um, things on when I'm out. I don't know anybody else is like that. Um, so I'm just picking up the sink here. It's that sort of weather, isn't it, where we need to have the hot things. It's damp squid outside, isn't it? Am I wiping my fingers on my trousers? Uh, probably, yes, Amanda, I probably am. I need a pinny, don't I? Hmm. I need a posh pinny. So I'm just adding some splats around the edge here just to give us that little bit of um, dimension on there. There we go. See that? Right, cool, hey? You could actually pop a face in there. Right, so what I need to do now is I also want to do something for my bunnies as well, but I don't want to colour them because I didn't want to scare you all by saying, let's get our watercolours out and let's colour these bunnies because I want to show you how sometimes being quite artistic with um, your stamps still look as good as if you spent hours colouring them. Although if you've got hours to colour them, that's amazing. So let's get an ink pad here. Let's think. Hmm... What colour bunnies? That's the problem next. Let's just move that out of the way. What colour should we do? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pink. Maybe an SBM apron. Maybe. So I've got pink here because I'm keeping it in the theme with my um, card in the back. And I'm going to spray it again with water. And then I'm just going to grab a piece of white card. Instant tea when I walk in. Do you, Sue? I must, I must, I must get into it more. Got to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit funny about leaving electrics on. You hear of these like horror stories, don't you? Of people 
But excuse me, my wire's just a little bit tangled. Um, I've done it, so I'm looking forward to it. So I'm just going to dry this one off. So this is just going to give us that base layer. So when I stamp the rabbits, I've not got that harsh white background. Patricia says she can't wait to have a go at colouring them. Oh, that's brilliant. When you do, don't forget to show your mates. I'm sure Sharon on our design team would love to see because she loves to colour too. Julie wants to watercolour in the next one. OK. If you want to do that, it might be worth grabbing a some watercolour card if you've got any. I'm just blasting these off just to get rid of the moisture. So what does anyone want to see in 2023 from Stamp By Me? Anybody want to see anything specific? You have to let me know. Right, so let's get our lovely bunny stamped. Let's show you how cool they are. So let's just pop it in here, look. Here we go. So I'm going for the family. Great idea. Could we do demo Val saying with the embossing powders and the fab foils? Absolutely, we can. I just need to make sure we've got some in stock because if I do something and people can't buy it, it frustrates a little bit. But definitely, yes, of course, one of my all time favourites. So I'm going to pop the bunnies in. Now, look at this here. If I stamp this in black, I have a beautiful halo around the bunnies anyway, just a sentiment and matte and layered a couple of times. Beautiful card. So, you know. I think I'm just going to try and capture a little bit of white in my bunnies as well so it doesn't look all pink. And then let's stamp this one out. More watercolour in, okay. Interesting. I, did you, are you refer, when you say more watercolour in, are you referring to when we did our watercolour flowers just freehand ourselves? Is that what you all mean? Just like an hour's painting together. So don't forget to share this video if you can. If you can see a share facility, please do so. Encourage more people to join in. Oh, just adorable. Now let's just get him out of the way. Now. There are no dies. We don't do dies. We keep the cost absolutely down. OK, so this is a fussy cut one. This one is easier to cut than the other one in the set. Um, they're both OK to cut. This one's the easier one of the two. OK, so persevere with it. I don't I'm not the best fussy cutter in the world, but I have tips under my sleeve, which I've shown you several times on how to make the worst fussy cutter look amazing <laughs> with the world's biggest scissors. You think I'd have sorted this out by now, wouldn't you? Because let's face it, I've been on about these big scissors since what, November? Honestly. So I always do everything from start to finish together. Because I appreciate some of you do like to craft along. Not exactly the same as I do, but a lot of you do like to do some of it together. Some of you stop halfway through. So if you're not a great fussy cutter, you don't have to go right in. You could maybe go in a little bit and then back out. So you don't have to go into all of that intricate detail. Light and shared. Thank you so much. Carol says she would like some stamps with dyes, the same as the old pretty penny ones. OK. You may want to tune into Emma's show. <laughs> Check out what Emma's got. 
that's tomorrow night at seven. She's just a little bit giddy, bless her. Oh, look how cute they are. So cute. Now, you can actually now, if you want to, go in and add further detail. So, say, for instance, pick up that pink ink pad. And if, if you are wanting to pick up that brush, then you can do that. So I'll just pop some water here. So let's add a bit more detail to the tummies. So I'll just take um, some of this pink here, which has now got a bit of purple in. So we could highlight and accent the tummies. Bearing in mind, it is um, normal cardstock, so it'll drink it quite quickly. You're not going to have fun getting the light and shade. But when it dries out, it looks okay. So give it a chance to dry. Is that a tail? That's a tail. That's a tummy. Like so. And then because I've got that under layer of pink, it's going to help me out with my shading instantly. Because it's not harsh and white and we haven't got to fill it. So in the ears, maybe halfway around the tail, giving a halo. Capture the light there. <clears throat> so when you add the colour around like the side of the faces and things like so, when the water evaporates, you'll have like a spot. So the light on here. Let's do it all the same. So the light's coming down. So you can see now we've got the spot on the face, the spot on the face, the spot on the face. And because I did that pink lay down initially, I'm not, I'm not scared of it now. So maybe a bit down the body. And you can manipulate and play. This is one of Carly's all-time favourite techniques, actually, is, you know, push some colour around. Don't be afraid of it. It don't bite. And if you think, oh, I dare actually go a little bit darker, then pick up some more and go a little bit darker further out. It's a piece of card. I'm going to mint, can it? So that light, that pink coming through has given me that sort of halo. I just need a bit of more pink to get rid of that. They're a good size as well, which is fantastic. Really, really good size. So I am going to be able to manipulate that colour, play around a little bit. I mean, pink bunnies is not quite right, is it? But it's my card and I can do whatever colour I want. As you guys at home can. And then what we'll do then is we'll bring it all back with a white gel pen. Well, let's just dry this off with our gun. Oh, Lindsay says she would put masking fluid on the tails to keep them white. Well, you can go back over with your gesso or your confetti or white sparkly. Julie says, best tip she ever learned, move the card, not the scissors. Great tip, that one from Julie. So I'm hoping I have a white gel pen, and I do, I have them all over. <laughs> so now we can go back in and add a, ha a halo in the ears. Bring that colour black, can we see there? On the tail, like Lindsay just said there, can we see here? Little line just to accent his tail. Could actually do some spots, because they would be quite fluffy, I guess. And then just on his tummy. So in all of the areas where you think it would catch some light, add that white back in. Do not be afraid of it. It don't bite. Let's add some highlight to the bunny's tail here. Look. 
You see now, got the detail, make that a bit thicker. Needed. Carly is bringing some gel pens out. They're due to land any second. So if you haven't got a gel pen, I strongly advise you invest in a gel pen because you use it for so many things, borders around cards. And then I think we need to sparkle the tummy. Stay away from your gel pen though because it will just blend out if it hits that sparkle. Let's just do the tummies and tails. Now I think that looks pretty cute. Question, question, how do a window die? Go with a folder in the magazine kit, found it difficult to cut. I'm going to do, uh, so the window that came with your box kit, obviously that no longer belongs to me. That belongs to Practical Publishing. Although I did it, it's theirs really, and they can do as they please. So for me to create a die that goes around that when the box kit isn't actually available anymore, I know lots of you have already bought it. Um, I have spoken to Practical Publishing and they said they would get back to me on that one. Um, but if you want me to, I know it seems a bit of a shame when you've already got that window, but I can create some embossing folders, some little mini ones with windows and dies. You'll have to let me know. But now that that sort of element of the box kit belongs to Practical Publishing, I can't really create a die to go with that. So they'll have to make more. Does that make sense? It's a little bit complicated. It's not as simple as just, hey, I'm going to create, make a die and sell it. But I can, if you want, to do a couple of little windows on some slimline ones maybe and put some dies, you'll have to let me know. Very similar as well if you want me to, but I can't do that one. Right, so let's tidy our station here. So on our backing piece here, well, let's just see how this is coming together. So we have our piece, I need to just trim this down. Oh, can you see how it's pretty much hidden now? Yeah, look at that. That is quite cool. I'm pretty chuffed with that one, guys. I really am. I'm just going to take a little bit off the bottom here. Gorgeous. I love this paper. Carol, Tony, have we... Did we... Tony, question, question. Tony, how do we get to the competition in the magazine? I've chased. I've so chased. I have no idea. Nobody gets back to me. I will chase again, though. Um, if you want to chase as well. Um, not sure. Really not sure where to go with it. But I will do it for you. I'll chase again. Right, let's get this glued into place. So pattern paper onto a whiteboard. I'm keeping this quite a simplistic card. And let's bring in our piece of card here. So this is our lovely piece that's going to stand tall on here. Can we see that there like so? So, but I don't like that it's all, I will pop this underneath my Eureka to flatten out. It's still a little bit damp, but I think you'll get the idea. So let's pop some glue across here. So you only pop glue on the bottom part of your easel. Make sure it's absolutely straight if you can. When it's folded flat, it does look straight. Just give that a push down. Yes, please, to the windows, Tony. And yes, if you could chase them, the competition. Leave it with me, guys. So now you have, like, I'll just show you from the side. There we go. So you can see your card there. Make sure you glue it down. Securely, get lots of tape and glue behind there. And then with this one, 
I felt like, um, where did I put it? I have my lovely, lovely, oh, what did I do with it? You know, that lovely um, twine uh, rope that we all bought. There's lots of ones. I did have the Northern Lights one, but I'm going white. So this gives you those lovely long tails on your cards. I'll find it as soon as I've gone a fair you watch. Anyway, so all I'm doing here is I am wrapping this round the base of my card. Let's just uh, move this out of the way. Like so, I would probably put two around there because I like it so much. So as you can see here now, the card quickly comes together. But I think I'm losing my design a little bit, so I'm just going to move it out of the way. And you see the one from the first stamp set you all got, which is this one with that lovely sort of bouquet in that paper element in there. I'm just going to take the stamp. And in black, I'm just going to catch the edges. I'm not going to pop it on a block. I'm just going to do it with my hand. I'm just going to randomly just catch some of the areas just to catch a bit of detail. Can we see here? Just to stop it from looking a little bit lost and floaty. And it's, the, it's a lovely cluster of roses is this one. And then... <clears throat> Just going to take my black liner pen here. I'm just going to do a free line sketch. So it's just a free line, sort of um, wonky line, just connecting the florals. It's not everywhere. It'll stop at the floral, continue on. And then we'll do another one and cross them over. I know lots of you already do this on your cards, so I'm not showing you anything new here, ladies and gents. And then maybe pop some cross hatching in so couple of lines just to sort of frame our design there and now let's get our design onto our card probably would pad this normally but my pads are still in my craft bag from TV. It looks like an uh, like a starry night, doesn't it? So I give his ears a pinch, make him 3D. And 
And then I have a tab punch here. And this is where you can sort of like be creative and add the sentiment onto the tab. Can we see that here or here? Wherever you want. don't think there's any rules. That's where you'd put the B mine. But I want to just finish the centre here. Oh, I took it on upside down. Whose idea was that? I got Scott carried away with how nice it looked. <laughs> oh, Tony, Tony. Eee, sometimes I wonder. Try again. Now, I would put that on another piece of white now to hide that ugliness, but if you make the same mistake as me. What a twit. It was going so... Oh, no, Brenda says. So, you know what? We... Tim keeps saying I'm going to do a video of bloopers. Like me stuffing my face with that mince pie at Christmas. Honestly. Trying to get a mince pie down my neck before we went live. <laughs> so funny. And then all I'm going to do is I have my stopper here. Let me see. So, I'm going to create a stopper. Now, you would pad this, and the way, if you don't have any pads, a great technique, and I've shown you it lots and lots before, but if you have cardstock that's just bit in your bits box, okay, cut them up into similar sizes, like so, and then glue them together. So, honestly, this is so, get those um, papers used in your stash. That you, don't, you keep looking at and you know your bit box that you're like, oh. And then glue them all to the back of your, and create your own pads. Makes the show real, Leslie said. Well, it's definitely real. <laughs> and then you can glue these bits. Give that a second to dry. Create your stopper. So wherever you want your card to stand proud. I'll just take that one there. Give that a second to dry and that's going to stand up when it dries. And then in that very set, you get... <clears throat> Um, with love and happy mail. So I think we'll go with love because it, they're all cuddling each other. And I'll just, I'll just cut that piece of white card up to use as my um, pads, haven't I? So I'm going to have to get a new one. I'm just going to stamp this in the corner and I'll just do it with a block. Freeze. Black ink pad. I could send it to ours. I could, yes. You're very right, I could. With love, I'm just going to cut that with my scissors. With the world's biggest scissors, ladies and gents. And you know it. And then I think what we have is that lovely paper look with that banner around. So what we always do as well is at the end of the seven sort of classes, we always vote which one we've loved the most. So which you like the best. And it's different. Everybody likes different, which is brilliant. I'm just going to bring this in here.
We've got our second for graph. It's quite a cute card, isn't it? It is very, very nice. So then you... And we need some sparkles. We need some sparkles in that sky, don't we? I'm just going to give this a second to grab. But overall, we didn't colour bunnies. We didn't attempt to get light and shade in the hair of the bunny at all. You can if you want to, and you can colour with dots. And that's one of my techniques, the pointillism. We're going to do that over the next seven days. Um, but super, super easy card. So I don't think I've asked, used anything that most of you wouldn't use. And as always with the Create Together Club, I try, I really do try to keep it to just the stamp because if I start using all nesting dies, shapes and being really, really creative, it frustrates because you don't have it at home. So I always try and keep it to as minimalistic as I can, but inspiration to use what you have in your stash. I always try that as well. So if you do like um, today's stamp, brilliant. Kathy's 60. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh happy birthday sweetheart um yep yeah, so we'll pop shall we pop this one straight on the back i might put i'll put some sparkles on for my picture i might actually put a bit of color on the base as well but there we go card number no there we go so i hope you've enjoyed that if you're playing don't forget to post your makes don't forget to share the videos i'm back with you tomorrow at one o'clock with um, the same stamp, doing something completely different. We'll try and chop it up over the course of the seven days. But as always, please remember, you can shop the show below on the website. You can do it live and you can also scan that QR code at any point, whether we're live or not, and get all of the products available on our website. So whatever you're doing, have a great afternoon stroke evening. Don't forget Studio 3 tonight at 7 o'clock with me. We'll launch brand new ink pads and some other bits and pieces. I'll see you all there, guys. Take care. Bye.